So I recently finally took the plunge and updated my laptop, my Mac OS laptop to Catalina. And now I have this, which is an Xcode update message. And I know that if I do that, something is going to happen with native script that I want you all to see. Nothing terrible, but it is something worth mentioning. So I thought I'd make a video about it. Let's check it out. All right, updates. This is the kind of area where something always goes a little bit awry, especially these days with so much different software running on our machines, so many different dependencies. And NativeScript CLI, when it builds the project, it uses Xcode internally to build for iOS. And right now I get a message that says Xcode needs to be updated on my Mac. I'm gonna run through this process right now and see what happens and how that affects the NativeScript CLI and building projects. So let's check this out. Here are my updates. By the way, I access this through App Store and then I get all these updates. I'm gonna skip all these, just do Xcode and I'm gonna click on update there. Uh, this is probably gonna take a little while, so I'm gonna save you the trouble of watching it and I'm gonna fast forward through this part. Okay, folks, we're almost there. I've been sitting here for the last 20 minutes watching this little thing spin around, watching some YouTube videos, and <laughs> this thing is still not done, so it's taken a while, but we're almost there. But I thought I'd make you suffer the last couple of minutes while uh, this is finishing up. Okay, just kidding. While it's finishing up, as you can see, we're almost done here. I'm going to create a new native script application here. And by the way, I'm recording on my main computer here, but it's actually remote desktop into my laptop, which is over here, which is why you'd see me doing this kind of thing. That might look weird to you, but there's a reason for this. All right, so I'm gonna open up a new window here to make it easier for myself. I'm gonna go into my code directory and TNS create demo Xcode update, update, update. All right, this is gonna be a TypeScript native script project. All right, let's see what's gonna happen first. Is the native script project gonna get created first or is Xcode gonna finish installing? I'm nervous just thinking about it. All right, I'm gonna go in here, demo Xcode update. So my project has been created successfully. I don't wanna run it just yet. I just wanna show you that what versions I'm working with right now. Right now I'm working with version 6.1 native script core modules at my Android and iOS runtimes are at 6.1x and my native script version is TNS dash dash version is 6.1.0. So yeah, I know 6.2 is out. I'll cover 6.2 in another video coming up shortly with some of the quirks and some of the changes that are coming with 6.2. But for now, because of some of the projects I'm working on, I left it at 6.1. All right. Xcode is done. Good timing. So there it is. It's done. Now I'm going to run TNS run iOS here for my project. And Xcode was updated in the background. This is going to use Xcode to build. Let's see what happens. Okay, so you can see here that we got an error message. And it says CocoaPods is not installed or is not configured properly. That's weird. I didn't touch CocoaPods. So what's this message all about? Not sure, but I'm going to go ahead and skip everything here and configure this manually. What I will do though is go up here and I'm gonna open up Xcode so I can run that. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna ask me to accept a licensing agreement, which I'm gonna agree to. Then it's gonna ask me for my password, which I will enter. It's gonna install some extra components. So this is running Xcode now separately, nothing to do with native script. Xcode has its own set of processes it has to go to after installation in order to finish configuration on your system. And that's what it's doing now. This one shouldn't take as long as the installation itself, but I'll fast forward this part also. All right, welcome back. It finished and Xcode is open. I'm gonna start a new project here in Xcode. Single view app is fine. Let's go ahead and click through this. Now the reason I'm doing this is so that I know that Xcode is working by itself and everything is fine with that setup. I always like to check to make sure Xcode is fine by itself. And I'm gonna start this up, make sure builds work, make sure the simulator pops up. And if that's the case and my native script setup still breaks, that means something else is wrong with the native script side, not the Xcode side. 
So now my project built successfully and it launched the iOS simulator. It's looking pretty good right now because the simulator is starting up and there were no build errors. So let's see if this program pops up here in the simulator. Now, the new MacBook Pros were just announced last week, and this being so slow, I'm really tempted to get one. But uh, I know that something's probably off right now with my setup, and maybe that's why it's taking so long. Maybe it's the first time I'm running everything. Who knows? It is feeling very sluggish right now. Maybe Apple does this on purpose to make you buy new computers. I don't know. All right, we're good to go. Look at this. We got the Hello World app running here. I'm going to close the simulator, and I'm going to close Xcode. I'm going to close my update screen as well. Let's clear this and I'm gonna run TNS Doctor because Doctor will give me the same problems that it diagnoses as the TNS run command will. So this is just a shortcut to get all the problems and all the things inspected to make sure the environment is set up correctly. Okay, looks like I have all green check marks next to CocoaPod things right there. CocoaPods are installed, CocoaPod update is not required and CocoaPods are configured correctly. All right, well, let's go ahead with our run command this time again, TNS run iOS, and hopefully this time it'll work just fine. Let's take a look. So we got the message that says searching for devices. That's already a good sign. That means we're past that point that we got the error last time. And I got the simulator that just popped up. Look at that. iPad error is not what I was expecting, but that's okay. Something is working here and we are running on iOS, which is good. And as you can see, we have a little Xcode build happening right there in the background. And that's a good sign right there. Ooh, look at that. My app started up and everything seems to be working just fine. So in my case, the solution was pretty simple. I updated Xcode and I ran it to make sure everything is configured and set up properly, including all the different components that Xcode installs. Those get updated as well. And now everything with NativeScript just works. Now. I have seen some other issues that are related to this that I didn't experience today, but they do happen from time to time. A good place to check would be the NativeScript docs, and that's docs.nativescript.org. And then they have a troubleshooting section. So this will give you some known issues and limitations. It'll give you some of the very well known issues that might happen, like Xcode is not installed or configured properly when Xcode seems to be installed. This will give you a little command to run that'll fix that problem, hopefully. So that's it for today, folks. I will see you in the next video. Happy native scripting.